first taste, baby, on your B-Day. We got to put this shit down like it go, man. Put it down, man. Put it down, man. Shit, we gon' get up shit. We get on something like that there. Uh. Cause when I come in, I'ma wreck the damn mic. It's the damn nigga to be, you know I'm out of sight with the night sight and the red lights. I'ma kick in the dough and what up? Get the nigga life in his safe. Yeah, we gon' fall fucking play. Me and Big Dave had a fucking nigga make, so we did it. Now we got motherfucking millions knocking on million. What dough? I gotta get more. Pay more. Now it's time to climb. Let the top down and let the twin bubble eyes shine on the jag. When I act bad, no more what drags. Only what rolling 20 inches. Run with no money What's over. What's up, y'all? Slab OG TV back at it again with another interview. Today we got a legend up in here. We got Bam. I mean, if you, you, know, if you ain't heard of Bam, you know, the legendary shop. I mean, I don't know. You know, you been living under a rock when it comes mm -hmm. to this history. So uh, without further ado, just introduce, introduce yourself and uh, tell us where you're from. Bam, Southside, South Park, okay. Texas. They say I'm part of Third Ward, but we're going to say Southside because we've been saying Southside. Okay. Uh, been here since 1989, Okay. and we're still here today. I always thought that you was from Third Ward. I don't know why people always think that you're from Third Ward. Uh, I did a lot. I, I hung in Third Ward a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, can you name some of the OGs, uh, you know, by you being OG, like what was going on in Houston, the South Side during this time, like the 80s, the, uh, you know, the early 80s when it was Houston was really forming this identity. As cars. far as the cars, the cars, music. Cars, cars, cars. We, we started out, you know, everybody, well, you know, everybody wanted to have a fly car. Everybody wants to have a fly car. Mm -hmm. uh, I stigma in Houston was when it first started in the 80s was uh hollywoods tops um swangers always swangers here mm -hmm. all right why, and, why, uh, why did it kind of like not be dayton's or uh, racing wheels or anything why did houston just gravitate towards elbows well we we like big cars mm -hmm. but i would say that, that we gravitated to because we, we don't go fast. We don't do a lot of fast stuff. Most of the things that we do, we like to creep, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, that's like we always say, some, or most of the songs and it's creeping or tipping. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Okay. Do you remember your first time seeing those rims? Yeah. Where'd you see it on? Uh, I saw them in 83 on a Cadillac. Mm -hmm. I was at the dealership. Okay. And I saw it brand, when they were brand new. And we all, Back then, if you could get a new Cadillac, it was saying something. Mm -hmm. And uh, because they came with the rims, it actually, 83s and 84s came originally on Cadillacs, mm -hmm. nothing else. Mm -hmm. To put them on there, that's where shops like myself came in to play because we would uh, change them, uh, do a little modification so they can fit on safely. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And back then, it was kind of like, when guys were building these cars, whether they'd be cutting the Hollywood tops, it was most so doing it in the backyard. Everything yeah, that y'all did first. to y'all cars, y'all did it to y'all basically. Right, at first. Was it just like no shops around? Um, it was shops, but you know, I didn't, I didn't come through the 89. We had stuff like the Post mm -hmm. and stuff like that. We didn't, we didn't have, uh, the scissors is right there, brother. We didn't have like a, 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 a regular place that we could take our car unless it's very expensive. Like just say if we wanted to take our, play, take our car to a, uh, to get switches, we'd take it over there to get switches. But we didn't have a place that would modify the wheels. This came after. Mm -hmm. So modifying is, was something that, like when you see, man, I think the craziest thing that I've seen is, is a Pinto on Swingers. Back, like then. back then back then was yeah, that kind of like cool player back then just because he had the wheels yeah okay. i mean it wasn't even it wasn't even live he had the wheels he had the bang he had everything okay okay can you name some of the people that might have had cars like during that time that 83 84 if you could remember uh shoot screw mm. um of course but well, shoot everybody you know the people that i hung around yeah. was Mostly the screwed up click. 
Okay. All right. So this is where we, you know, we hung Mama Bam. Uh, she would be up here, my grandmother, mm -hmm. and uh, they all hang up here. Even when I wasn't around, they all hang up here. Fat Pat, uh, three two, mm -hmm. uh, Big Mellow, yeah. all the old heads that uh, uh, Jarv, Hard Jarv. He was a very good supporter. Mm -hmm. uh, C Note, the Botany Boys, D Red, all of them. They show love, and and you know, it was crazy because. You know, they all, we, we all hung out here and we all met up here from Pokey, all of them, they would hang out. The thing is, is they also have a, a detail shop somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so they would split up the time. You know, some of them that's from that era would split up the time so they can go over there and then they'd come over here and hang. Because, yeah. you know, we got sets. You know, you want to be, you want to be loyal to the people in your neighborhood or, or who you from. Mm -hmm. But uh, we just sort of met on the line, and we all gravitated, and we all just hung. I mean, you name it, we were here, chilling. What made this spot just so legendary? Because it seemed like when I talk to people from that era, they always say, like, if you ain't go to BAM, like, you not no real slab. You wasn't a real slab rider. Well, we prided ourselves in doing the best of everything. Mm -hmm. If detailing, we did the best. Uh, we took our time. It wasn't so the money. It was more so being doing it effective and getting them out uh we modified so like it was a one stop so you could come here you get your oil changed you get your car cleaned you get your tires put on you get pretty much an alternator put on you get everything done in one spot one stop shop that's what we used to call it so like that that's why it says a complete engine care one stop shop okay and it's been and you've been at this spot since 1989 1989 what made you want to open it actually i did I was, uh, I had a, a pizza place. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a few franchises still left. It's called Bamolino's Pizza Place. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I was doing. And I was doing pretty good. I was in college and I was doing that. And uh, I really didn't want to finish college. Mm -hmm. I felt that, you know, my grandmother kept telling me to keep going. Um, it really got to be, uh, I found this place on accident. Like, she, you know, she was like, oh, let's find this place. Once I found it, she was like, this is the place, you know. And I was like, but at that time, it was called Dead Man's Corner when I bought it. Because like five to ten people have, have was on this corner and they couldn't, 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 couldn't make it. Yeah. So we got here uh, in uh, 1989 and uh, we just prospered. I think one of the things that, that uh, actually brought us to the forefront was not that we could not only uh, pamper the people's cars, all right, but also we all smoked and choked down back then. Mm -hmm. So the deodorizer that I have, it was my, it's my dad's chemical, but the stuff that he, it, it made us today, we ship all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that is something that I can, I can be thankful for that he left me. Um, it's a very, like you could be smoking or it could be a dog odor or a, uh, you know, a dog or something. Mm -hmm. You spray it, you're no. not gonna smell it anymore. Yeah. All right? Okay. And it's heat induced, so the hotter it gets, the louder it gets. Mm -hmm. So that's what make it, make it a little different. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And man, just going back to the, uh, you know, slab and whatever, uh, what was your first set that you got and what did you put it on? <laughs> be honest with you, the first set that I had, I put it on a Nova. A Nova? Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I put it on a Nova, then I turned around and I, I got, I ended up getting two 69 Galaxies. One was black and one was white. So then I did that. Mm -hmm. But we put swingers on everything. Mm -hmm. Swingers went on everything. We, we thought it did anyway. If you want a live car, you want to make sure, you know, it's a little different than what we're doing now. Uh, we did more professional putting them, putting the uh, the systems in, mm -hmm. and it was the key to have it looking neat, you know. And y'all would take y'all get y'all system done and surround by sound. Correct? Oh yeah, yeah. That, if you wanted to, you know, if you were saying something and if you had the bread. You was doing surround by sound. And they had your car knocking. 
Yeah, in the car knocking. That's when the pop trunks first came out. Mm. You know, and everybody was pop trunking with the sands on it. Mm. Uh, sand. was, was Toast the first complete slab? Meaning candy paint, interior, music, pop trunk, grill, uh, fifth. You know, I can't say that because I, okay. I don't know. Because I, I do know that he, he did, uh, he had a beauty. Mm -hmm. He definitely did have a beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember the crazy thing. I remember coming through because that's what we do. We come through. We just going to swing through carols. We all popping trunks. I'll come through in the Drolix, followed by, you know, uh, the Jag on Swingers. And we first time seen Toast. Mm -hmm. And he hit the, he hit South Main and hit that trunk on us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Oh, man. Look at that at point, was his car kind of like the cleanest one in the city, damn near? I was, it was pretty clean. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say it was one of them. Mm -hmm. He damn sure ranked. Yeah. I mean, you still had, so you had other people that was a different, so it's different types of slabs. You know, you got the Cadillac, you know, all the way uh, bumper kit and all mm -hmm. that. Then you might have Bins, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and that was like Smitty. Smitty had the bins and, and uh, people like that. So you had different. So to say you was a king on the slab, he had one of the nice slabs, but it was so many diff di uh, uh, different uh, variations, like the uh, 911s. I, you know, it was a group that had the 911. Then you start, they start branching off into colors. Mm -hmm. People start, you know, candy red was the thing. Then people got in the neighborhood, they did green. Marble green, and you had the marble green, and then you had the black cherry, mm -hmm. you know, so in the Jags. So you would have to say, was that the tightest Cadillac? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Because some people had the box Chevys. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they would just well put together. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And from my understanding, you told me a minute ago that. You was uh, the first one to put a jag on swingers. Oh, yeah, I'm the first one to put the jag on the swingers. I bet people was tripping like back then. Yeah, saying they the weren't ready. Yeah. Pearl white, uh, Testarossa kit on mm -hmm. swingers, white on white. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who was putting them Testarossa kits on them? Uh, I just, we didn't, I mean, it was really Ike. Mm -hmm. Ike would do most of it. In our interior, we deal with Oscar, mm -hmm. Trim Shop. Uh, that's who did, you know. Mm -hmm. Most of our painting, if you want it right, you can go around to other people, but if you just want it right and you don't want to keep going through, you just, because, you know, we move pretty fast back then. You want to do something, just throw in the cash, and, and he'll call you when it's done. Okay. What, at what point did it start to become kind of dangerous? Oh, yeah, around um, 80, 90 to 91. They was killing for them. Mm -hmm. Like, people would have to take your swingers off. That's where the taking your swingers off came. Mm -hmm. Put them in your attic. People was putting their rims in the attic. Because people would come and break in their house just for the rims. Mm -hmm. Not for the guns, not for the money. Of course, if they stumble across it, they'll take it. But their object was to go. And the way, they, the way those guys, you think they should be like, man, come on, man, we're going to take that nigga off the slab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just how it was. But it seemed like it was kind of like crazy to think that you had to go through all this trouble just to have this car. If you was to ride, if you thought you was going to ride and you did, was getting ready to ride, you need to go ahead and have your tool in your lap. That's mm -hmm. where they came from. If you're rolling swingers, you might as well have it in your, I mean, people were riding and just shooting, your, shooting, shooting up mm -hmm. your car. To get to, to get you to pull over or, or, or slow you down. Yeah. You know, a lot of our friends passed or they got their car jacked. It got crazy where we couldn't even hardly drive them. Uh, it just got crazy, man. You know, most of the time we did them. After a while, we had them in shows, and you know, like I used to go to a lot of car shows and, and things of that nature. That's the things that I like to do. It, you know, and it brought a different culture to it because you have the. The swing is next to the, the same type of car mm -hmm. that's Dayton's. Mm -hmm. The way we fixed up cars in the South, 
Houston, Texas. South side had their way. North side had their way. It didn't matter. We are Texas, and we could really, we could fix up a car. Mm -hmm. Back then, like early 80s, uh, late 80s, 90s, was like the North and the South kind of inter, like intermingling, you know, uh, like y'all would see some cars from the North side that would come, the Carrolls, anything? Yeah, yeah. They would, I mean, because we had what's popping. We had Carrolls, we had uh, 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 the Screw, we had everything that was over here that was popping. Uh, so if they was on the south if they was if they was on the north they have to come to the south mm -hmm. because i mean we had the best fleet markets we had all the stuff at the time mm -hmm. and i don't want to say you know it just was at the time mm -hmm. uh we could tell the difference of our because our, our, we were candy red and they were blue mm -hmm. and uh so we pretty much know if a person from another side if we on their side but yeah it was a lot of uh the, you know, turf wars and wars, you know, from the north and the south. Uh, I never really got too much into it personally, mm -hmm. but I do know a lot of it was going on. You know, we had to, it just what it was back then. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Did you ever go to schoolhouse? Yeah. While they was recording and everything? Yeah. For, for somebody like me being younger, like, what was that feeling of being in schoolhouse? It seemed like it was just like a legendary setting to where, like, if you wasn't there, you don't know like how play it was to be in there. Yeah, it was mostly depends on who was in there. Mm -hmm. Because everybody would stop through. It was a lot of names that would stop through. And if they in there tearing the mic up, just think about some of the legendary tapes that we still listen to to today. Mm -hmm. Think about if you were in there when they expired and they made it mm -hmm. because it was nothing writing down. That's what made us so, that's what made us in, 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 in Houston so big because none of the people wrote down anything. Most of them just went in there. And, How they was feeling. Right, whatever it was, it just go at it. So it's it talent, real talent. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it was, real talent. Yeah. Do you ever kind of trip at it, trip, trip out, you know, cause y'all, I guess you could say like started like a culture and to see where it has gone. Does that kind of like trip you out? Like, man, we were doing this way back in the day. Like we pretty much started this. Yeah. Even the cars, the transformation from the cars, uh, just to even see how they would drive. Mm -hmm. I mean, we drove different. Like mm -hmm. we did drive in the red lines and in the lines and stuff like that. But it was like the first person or the second person stopped all the traffic mm -hmm. all right and let everybody go and then they catch up yeah that's how it is we didn't do no just you know trying to tear our cars up, we really, cars up. no we really cared about the cars we was like no nah, we're not doing that mm -hmm. you know uh but we would block the traffic off that was one of the things if we riding in the line we're gonna block the traffic off let the people go let us let our people go and then we'll go behind them and then let us catch up in the line we it was sort of like Little class, an organization. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. If it was a youth that came up to you, was like, man, OG, give me some game, you know, about the slab, you know, or just coming up, like, what would you give them? Man, I ain't giving them no game. They gonna have to do their own thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna be real. Everybody likes something different. Mm -hmm. You got your people, like I say, you like got your people that like the Cadillacs. You got your people that like the Porsches. So, I mean. The BMW, you just got all different type of people that how you fix that car up is different. But now once you put swingers on it, that's a whole different ball game. I mean, it was a lot of people fix cars up and put Lorenzo's on there. Uh, they was back there with the Lorenzo's, the three bars. Uh, then they, they came out with the Classic and Vogue's. Mm -hmm. And when the Classic and Vogue's came out in stop signs, the people, if you didn't want to be with the swingers and worry about people trying to uh, you know, fight you, shoot you over it. You put some classic in Vogue, but shoot, they started going still, for the Vogue. Still be clean. They, yeah, they, it'll be clean, but they still come for the, they start coming for the Vogue. Yeah. The stop signs in the Vogue. So it was nothing safe. Back then, you know, like I said, they had posts. So the uh, PMD seats, the uh, Ricky Ricardos, 
they wasn't safe nowhere. Mm -hmm. okay. You have like a top five greatest slabs from your area that you remember? So that just made all y'all say, ooh, look at that car. That, that's the one right there. I guess we're going to have to say, I'm going to say toast. I'm going to say that my Jag. Uh, oh, CB, of course. Core Blunt. Man, you can't leave him out. Yeah. See, like, it's just different. So and I'm looking at different eras, mm -hmm. how, you know, then we can't forget the Lincoln with Fat Pat. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Condre? Condre, yeah. yeah. So, like, we all hung together, so every day we was always doing something with our cars. Not necessarily we always drove our cars. Yeah. Because we had other cars. We just set our cars up until it was time to drive it. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time to drive it, we all came up here. They get the car wash, get the rims changed or whatever. And then we head to the beach or wherever. Like one time, I think uh, we all uh, got our car clean and uh, we got it shipped to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. For the classic? Yeah, the okay. classic. And I, I meant to... Uh, I got some of those pictures too. I meant okay. to bring those pictures too, and I did. But I, I'm gonna try to get those pictures somewhere. Where, I'm talking about some of them when when Pat Pat and uh, CB he had that convertible. Oh man! Why everybody say like kind of like Blunt is like the king? Why would you say Blunt would be the king? Shoot, he was doing it. Mm -hmm. Was his cars just that clean? That was he perfect. So like. He put a so not just putting a lot of money in it, it's the class that you put on it to uh, to make it right, mm -hmm. you know. And you didn't want it to be too much, and you want like even the music. Like I say, you know, if it's rattling, it ain't right. Mm -hmm. If it's rattling, yeah, 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 that ain't right. Thumping. Yeah, it's supposed to be thumping. That means it's installed correctly. Mm -hmm. People think, yeah, you got power to make it rattle, but can you stop the rattling? Stopping the rattling was another two to ten thousand mm -hmm. so dollars. So that, that that's how you know if your car is put together. It's not rattling. It's clean inside. And you know, a lot of people think that you know they put the tin on the cars and stuff. We didn't really roll a lot of tin. Cause you wanted to see. We on wanted inside. people to see us. Yeah. Why would we put tin on there? We even though they knew that we didn't put tin on the car. Mm -hmm. Like where you can't see, mm -hmm. and give a cops reason to stop us. Yeah. But now that's what they do. They put the tent as dark as you can get it. So as soon as the law sees it, he knows that's illegal and, and, and he pulls you over. You like the long wheels? Man. No, not really. <laughs> Just a little too long for you. But I do think that the originals that we have now, that we had then, wouldn't look good. I think that, that the new generation's version of the short ones are uh are awesome like you know uh the little little bigger than supers yeah. or something like that they, yeah they, they look good yeah. you know when they get the 20s and the 15s and yeah it yeah. ain't right yeah okay okay and somebody want to get at you about getting a uh, spray coming up here getting the oil change uh, how can they get at you oh man hit me up on uh 713-748-4107 or uh you can email me and uh, get on my link, man, at uh, Instagram, Bama01. Okay. okay. Facebook, okay. all that's the same. Even TikTok, the same. Yeah. And uh, hit me up on the, email, I mean, on the uh, website, www.bamaonline.com. Okay. Got any shout-outs to get up out of here? Man, I'm just going to say shout-out to the whole world, Southside. You know what I mean? Because I love everybody, Southside of Houston. I love everybody on the North, H-Town, in full effect. Already. Bad Boy G's TV, we got Bam up in here. We got ah.